Hey Portable 4 students and parents, this is just a reminder about the music genre project that we're currently doing. I think we're going to start our presentations on Thursday, so we have a few a uh, few days next week to kind of get everything um, looking ship shape. So for parents, here's an overview of what the actual project is. Uh, we we'll started talking about what is a music genre, and of course it's a specific type of music. And uh, what makes a genre? Well, it is, uh, there's a variety of different types of music, and each type has some specific um, parameters or characteristics or uh, instruments or time periods or uh, origins or things like that. Um, the student's job is to choose one of the genres and to give a presentation on that genre. Questions might include uh, when was it developed or where that genre was developed, instruments are, what instruments are used, culturally what groups of people enjoy it, or are there any specific messages that typically are found within that kind of genre. And we gave them, a, I gave them a whole bunch of different music genres and played a quick example of each one. So here are some of the major ones that I came up with. Um, I'll leave it at that. It's not all of them. There are other genres out there, but uh, it's a little quick. Uh, survey of genres that I could find. So then I place the students randomly in groups of three, a couple of groups of two just because we don't have an even number if we do threes. Uh, and then they had to choose a genre to study. Um, and the choices, uh, all that part worked out well. Everyone was happy and got their first choice. Now Every student, each student individually, is going to be in charge of answering uh, one question about their genre. So if you're in a group of three, three of the questions will be answered, one each per person. So for example, why is your uh, genre important? And uh, you know, you might start off with, my genre is the most important because, etc., uh, etc. Et what influenced your genre or what uh, does your genre influence. Uh, financially, why is your genre that important? These are all kind of parts of that, um, kind of the overall uh, talking about the genre in terms of importance. Okay, another one could be, how did your genre begin and what's the history? Uh, we talk about classical music, we might talk about certain time periods. We talk about disco, we might talk about certain time periods. Uh, we talk about blues, we might talk about certain time periods, etc., uh, etc. Et and here's kind of the intro, really, is what are the general characteristics of a genre? What are the basics? This is really the intro. Whoever does this question really should go first, I think, in your presentation, because it kind of sets up and tells people what the different characteristics are of the genre. And maybe what do people in your genre wear? And where was it um, started? And maybe what instruments or things like that? These are, these are quick examples of big questions that I came up with. Um, yeah. So this is what every single person will do. Not every group. Every single person will answer one of the major questions or more. If you're uh, keener and you want to do a little more and you want to answer more than one question, that's fine. But everyone should in your group will answer one or more questions. Uh, so that really should be probably two or three slides in the total presentation. And everyone will also highlight one important artist or singer or uh, musician from that particular genre. So if you're in a group of three, there should be three artists that will be highlighted. And finally, everyone can play one part of a video um, that shows perhaps probably one of the artists. Oh, and all the music video that you show, sh everything should be clean and uh, appropriate for a grade five, six portable. Let's put it that way. So altogether, every single person is responsible for four to six slides. So if you're in a group of three doing the calculations quickly, that means there should be 12 to 18 slides for the whole group, and you're uh, associated, uh, you're responsible for a third of that. I think that's it. Okay, at this point, uh, let me just, by now, at this point, we've had a couple of periods of research, probably had two solid hours of research. So... Uh, everyone should have in their research, research is a Google Doc document, so in, everyone should have a Google Doc 
that has one page of research. And that research is about the band or the artist that you want to highlight. So everyone should have one page. And then in the same Google Doc, everyone should have another page. And that is where you're researching the big question. So parents, what you can do now is ask your son or daughter to open up their Google Doc research and see if they have, uh, you know, about one page for research uh, of the big question and one page for the man. If they have significantly less than that, you might want to give them some time to kind of catch up. Uh, or you might want to ask them, how, what happened? How come we don't have uh, the, the, the amount of research that you're supposed to have? If they've got two or close to two uh, or more, then they're in, good, they're, in good, um, they're in good shape and they will be working on the slides in the coming week. Anyways, that's an overview of the music uh, genre project. Thank you very much. Have a good weekend.